Hi my lovelies, it's Nisha. So today I wanted to show you this wig which is new to me and this is John Renault January in Palm Springs Blonde and I will also compare it to two other similar short wavy bobs and we will compare the colors and the style and all that. So this is January. I think January came out last year, but I've never ever tried it. By the way, the other two wigs I've already reviewed, so I might link the reviews to those wigs. This one is new to me. Um, all these wigs have been sent to me by Mima Wigs. Just to let you know, I do not get paid for these uh, reviews and I do not get any commission. I get the wig sent for free for a review. Also, I have a permanent discount link for you for Mima Wigs, so I will leave all that in the description box. So before we talk about January, let's look at hair club. January is a short wavy bob with sort of face framing layers. It definitely has some layers, not, not many, it's almost one length, but it has a bit of layering. So as you uh, have seen, it's a full hand tight wig, which is, they are the most comfortable the most wonderful wigs ever. I always tell you that means that each individual hair is sewn into the cap instead of in big wefts. Therefore, you get much more uh, natural movement. If your hair blows up, it doesn't expose the wefts. It just looks like your um, scalp. This is a synthetic wig, not heat defiant, so you cannot use heat on it but with this style i don't think you need to there is nothing you could do to it to make it any cuter i really really love these short flirty bobs that's exactly how i feel about them they are very cheeky and flirty and they can be very sporty or very elegant so um really really like that about those styles also because they are of the neck perfect for summer and keeps you a bit cooler than if you had lots of long hair on your neck. So the measurements on it are uh, the fringe is approximately 19 centimeters which is 7.5 inches. The crown is 18 centimeters which is 7 inches and the nape is just 3.6 inches. So let's have a look at her. This is straight from the box. What I always do when I get my wig out of the box, I turn it upside down, inside out, and I shake it. And then you put it on and sort of rough it, rough it up. You, you know, you, you can imagine when the wig has been um, in a box for ages, it's all flattened and it might look a bit funny. <laughs> uh, but, but as you can see straight from the box there isn't much you can do to it so it has sort of like a swooping fringe uh, and you can use the heat on it so you can use the heat from your own hands if you want to change that or you can use some styling products like the um, John Renault Peace Out Contour Fiber Cream this is really good Mima Wig sent it to me a while ago I've used it on other wigs it's wonderful for piecing out uh, like short pixie styles but also you can sort of change the way your ha your hair lies so i quite actually like this swooping fringe and to me this is plenty of lift here at the front but if you wanted to you could obviously do stuff to it. 
let me just show it's like a paste you know a bit of a stringy paste you see how you can sort of style it a bit with this cream and define the curls a bit with it as well this wig has a really lovely lace front but I see it doesn't have many blonde streaks here I'm sure that with the new colors you know John Reno came out last year with all these um, California blondes and this is one of them uh, they've started putting a bit of blonde streaks here right at the front which I like because otherwise if you have just the dark I feel like the hairline can look a bit severe you know because it's such an even line but this one doesn't seem to have much of it you have to remember there was you could order 10 of these wigs and they all will slightly differ you know the curl pattern will be tiny bit different there might be some discrepancies in the color distribution but on the whole obviously they look the same let me show her to you from all the sides Can you see this natural movement? Also, the density is wonderful. I'm sure if you wear wigs, you are aware of John Renaud Julien, which was a very, very popular wig a few years ago. And it has a bit similar curl pattern, but it was more of an angled bob and was much longer here. That wig had so much hair. It wasn't my favorite I mean especially at the front uh, that wig was my favorite to wear in a winter under hats because all the curls stuck out from the from under the hat and I really like that but other than that uh, it wasn't my favorite wig because of the density I think that uh, the thicker the wig the more hair it looks more wiggy uh, it doesn't look as natural as less density wig and this one is just perfect it feels really light fluffy really really nice so this is the palm spring blonde which is probably the coolest out of all john renault's wigs uh, there is no warmth in it at all uh, it's on a dark root but really nice color root the root is quite ashy as well so you know how I like my ashy and cool blondes. So this is absolutely perfect. Love, love, love this wig. Another thing that um, Mima Wigs have sent me is this sea salt spray. It's a, it says beachy waist plus tassel texture. This sea salt spray adds body volume and hold for beachy waves. So you know, um, I always tell you and that was a trick that I actually got from Taz, from Taz's wig closet. If you're, because you know, you can brush that through and your waves are not going to be as defined and as wavy. But if you want to bring that back, you would just take spray bottle with pure water, spray water, scrunch it and the curls should spring back. The only problem is there is no hold, any hold into water, is there? So um, I thought that could be a good alternative when you want more defined um, curls. You know, when your wig has gone a bit straightish. So let's try that. Um, Michelle from Mimo Wigs told me that um, it sort of leaves tiny bit of residue, but not much. Look straight away. Can, can you see? how all the cows get defined and I suppose we will have to wait a, a bit to see what happens when it dries it shouldn't take long to dry that might be a winner this spray because I used to always do it with water but obviously like I said water doesn't have any hold in it it doesn't it's not like hair spray so 
let's wait a bit to see how this dries and if the cows stay oh I really like it oh this spray might be a real winner it feels tiny bit sticky on my fingers but so far I can't feel the stickiness on the wig yet I am going to go off for five minutes and let it dry okay so this is dry now and the curls have stayed on and are much more defined it doesn't feel stiff you know obviously it feels as if you maybe sprayed very light coat of fair spray but it's not crunchy it's really nice so yes i like that okay let's compare this wig now to meet deborah i'm sure you've met her before this is so funny when i used to uh, film in my room upstairs i had shelves there for all the wigs and deborah used to live on that shelf and um, I forgot about her and since my husband has been working from home obviously one day he brought Deborah down and he said please take her away she scares me <laughs> looking down at me so this is Deborah and Deborah is wearing Beltres lemonade so as you can see this is also a short bob almost looks like this before you've curled it so i am going to put her on and the color is butterbeer blonde which is my favorite color in beltress uh, this color is very similar i would say to raquel welch shaded biscuit but you can see the difference at the front she looks quite nice and cool but um i don't know if you you can see in this slide uh, she has few sort of very 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 pale honey highlights in it as well so it's tad warmer than this but it's not a warm wig by any means it's sort of a neutral leaning towards cool and also the root on butterbeer blonde can you see is much warmer it's a beautiful color though but it's warmer than this so let me put lemonade on okay so here's lemonade um love it as well this is much more undone it's a very blunt bob very messy very modern i have cut out a tiny bit of fringe in mine if you can see here um because i don't feel i look very good with like very strong um very long straight hanging hair around my face this wig is heat defiant so it's heat friendly so you can add some curl if you want to to it let me show her quickly to you from all the sides i think lemonade is slightly longer than january but obviously if you straighten january's hair which you can't it uh, would be the same length uh, so lemonade is all over one length is eight and a half inches and the nape is a bit shorter than on january so it's a bit shorter at the back uh, january was 3.6 inches this one is 2.5 so let me quickly show you her from every angle it looks like she's a bit sort of cut up here um, at the nape So what I mean about the blonde streaks, can you see Lemonade has these few blonde streaks and that stops the, and that stops the hairline looking so severe. Again, Beltres does their density really, really well. This is again very natural. Also, the denier, her denier is much finer, I think, which means the individual hair is finer. Uh, the only thing with these as the with that is that you get these flyaways but i don't mind flyaways at all because i feel like it makes the hair look even more natural you get flyaways in your own hair so yes you can cut a little fringe in it if you want can you see i've got one <laughs> but i don't have it to wear it as a fringe i just 
like that you know sticking out here so my face is not covered with this long layer um, around my face so this is another flirty cute cute style do you know what I want to use this on it and see if I can get any more texture with this spray like I said you can curl this wig put few curls or completely straighten it because it is heat friendly but let's see if we can get I think this would also help with the flyaways I don't think you get curl because there is no really curl in it but you can sort of get a bit of texture in it I wouldn't say that helps with the flyaways I think you could deal with flyaways with that paste with that cream but yeah it gives it that sort of beachy salty look doesn't it I really like this spray I really do it will be so handy for so many of my wigs now let me just talk to you about this cap. I don't know if this is just on my wig or they are all like this. This wig is so loose. I have it completely pulled in with the tabs and I don't feel like this wig is that secure. I have a sort of small average head. I think mine is 21.5 inches. So it's the average. The January was very very well fitted nice and tight um, I think you get better fit with um, full hand tight cups anyway but this is very loose and not every belt dress wig feels like this so I feel maybe they are a bit inconsistent when it comes to cups but I uh, right now I just have you know one of those stocking cups on my head but I wouldn't feel comfortable going out in this wig just with the cap on I would wear the wig grip and these you can get on Amazon look they even have like a lace parting so you put it where your lace parting is on your wig um, and this is like a velvety velcro adjustable band I've done a video on that if you look um, in my wig reviews playlist you will find it what you have to remember with this is before you put it on run your fingers that way and that way because one way this will be smooth and that way you can feel resistant resistance so obviously you have to put it on the way that you feel the resistance so the wig is holding on to it if you put it other way around where it's smooth the wig can just come off so these um, headbands are amazing and they come in a dark brown as well, in black if you're wearing darker wigs, you know. So yeah, I thought I'd tell you, but I cannot tell if every lemonade is like this or it's just, uh, you know, my, my wig because like I said, they can vary sometimes. Yeah, so that's lemonade. So we've compared the colours and... The style like I said I think the style is very similar it just looks like this looks like January the next day after I've curled it so it's gone a bit straighter you know okay let's look at the third one that is probably the longest out of them all but I still would consider it short wavy bob okay so this is unfiltered by Raquel Welch in shaded biscuit so again let's compare the colors i think this might look a bit darker now because i've sprayed the spray so the hair is more defined very similar color to butter be a blonde uh, the root is tiny bit darker and i think on a whole the shaded biscuit is a bit brighter so i have reviewed unfiltered as well i had it in this new color which was macchiato something macchiato which is very similar to shaded biscuit but it doesn't have the warmth in it because um, shaded biscuit has some you know this very pale pearly blonde and very very pale 
warmer blondes whereas the macchiato wall is a bit cooler not much difference in them at all so i wanted my shaded biscuits so this is my brand new um, unfiltered in shaded biscuit so let me put so it here is unfiltered it is straight from the box so i haven't done anything to it again can you see it's a nice short bob it's a bit more glamorous i would say it has these um, waves towards the tips this is probably the longest especially at the front so the fringe is 10 inches whereas january was 7.5 inches and remember lemonade was 8.5 all over the crown is 9 inches so again longer than the january and the nape is 3.5 inches very similar to january which was 3.6 inches i will show her to you in a minute of around all the sides i remember my like this has a really nice curl here but it's a bit straggly here um, and that's what i mean um, my first unfiltered had beautiful um, waves on both sides but this is heat defiant wig as well so i can always go and put a quick little curl here on the side but as you can see straight from the box looks gorgeous uh, again you see you've got this a uh, blonde highlighting quite heavy around your hairline which i love can you see how less um severe it is when you see the blonde with the dark instead of just the dark color we have compared the colors haven't we i love this color and do you know do you remember with my last two wigs from raquel welch we were talking about the shaded biscuit because those two wigs the shaded biscuit looked a bit different it looked like it had longer root darker root it wasn't as blonde as at the front uh, so i have contacted the designers of um, raquel welch wigs i'm still waiting for them to investigate it but it could be simply a case that that was just one off you know i just happen to get that sort of um wig that the color wasn't just right i mean don't get me wrong it was beautiful everywhere else but just the front looked like it had a bit longer root and not so much blonde around your hairline uh, another thing could be if they are using two different factories to make wigs maybe one factory didn't do it right i am not sure uh, i'm not going to speculate because i don't know but this one seemed to be like the normal shaded biscuit should look so this is your front i would say it's like the longest i think it is slightly um angled very slightly just the front is longer So this has normal wefted cap with a full monofilament so you can part it wherever you like i didn't tell you about the lemonade lemonade's got just left hand uh, monofilament but it's quite quite deep so you know this all will depend how much your wig costs first of all the cap you know it's if if it's wefted cap it's going to be a bit cheaper now the monofilament if it's full monofilament it's going to be a bit more expensive than just partial monofilament and obviously hand tight cap will be the most expensive and the heat defiant will be more expensive than just synthetic wig again the density on this one is wonderful there are some not many i must say but i had um, raquel welch wig i've reviewed it years ago really long one they had very heavy a lot of hair at the front can't remember the name of the style now but on the whole Raquel Welch's wigs have really really lovely uh, density and you probably know Raquel Welch is my favorite uh, wig designer I do like John Renault especially now that they have this cool blonde and there are some um, really nice features to Beltress as well, but they are a bit hit and miss, I must say.
Okay, my lovelies, I hope this was helpful because like I said, they are almost like the same bob, just styled differently. So you can choose which one would suit you the most. I am also a big fan of these two products. So like I said, everything will be linked down below. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.